Hi everyone, my name's Anne-Marie. Welcome to this new episode of Cut TV brought to you by www.craftshoeprint.com. In this episode we're going to be looking at a gorgeous mini kit from Anne Lever and the cup number is cup 9880083 underscore 1763. It's called Lady Camellia Pink Mini Kit. It's for an 8x8 size card, I should say 8x8 inches, and you get three sheets in the kit. Now, we're going to have a look at the sheets that are included in the kit, and then we're going to make the gorgeous card. So the first sheet that you get is the main image for your base card, which basically means for new crafters, you take your card that you're going to use, your blank card base, and you attach this image and that's your main base image for the front. We've got some extra sentiments and then Anna's created a first decoupage layer and some decoupage pieces and an extra sentiment. And then on the final sheet, we've got the insert for the card and two mini images that you could use as an envelope seal or for the back of the card or for a gift tag. So it's a great card, full of good colour as well. So our base card that we're going to use is an 8x8 card and that is just a blank white base card. So I'm going to start off on the back and I'm going to add one of the mini images that was included in the kit. Now I've put this on just flat double sided tape which is available from Craft Shield Print. And I'm just going to pop it in the centre because I just think it brings the whole card together when it's finished. And you'll see what I mean when we see the finished card. Now I'm going to add the insert panel. All of the sheets have been printed by Craft Shoe Print on the Print and Post service. They're all on the glossy paper and they're all just so pretty. It gives a good finish and it looks great on your cards. So the insert for this card from Anne has been um, created to go inside for you to be able to write your message on and you would be able to add one of the sentiments if you wanted. I haven't done, I'm just going to leave it blank but you'll see how it matches in perfectly with the rest of the kit. So we'll just pop that in the centre and press it down and then we can create the front of our card. Now the front of our card, this is our main base image that we use and we're going to pop down flat tape on the back of this just double sided tape and I'm going to just position it through the centre of the front of the card so it gives a little bit of a white outline around the edge. Our first layer of decoupage is a larger layer so decoupage is building up the image into a 3D effect. I use 3D double sided foam on the back of mine and I'm just going to place the image over the previous layer so the image marries up with the image underneath it like that and then press it down and then the next layer is going to be the lady's dress and this again a decoupage layer so you just marry up the design to the design underneath it. And then we've got the gorgeous flower. Again, 3D foam. And follow how the pattern is, how the flower is. And just layer it over. Now I've taken one of the sentiments. And I've taken the happy birthday sentiment on 3D foam. And I'm going to add my sentiment... I think roughly about here, just at the side of the lady and just underneath the beautiful flowers. And I'm going to finish it off with just a little bow just to one side, something that I had in my stash, this ribbon, and I think it just works perfectly with the colours. And that is our finished card. It's a beautiful card. It all matches perfectly. You see what I mean about the little image at the back? It just ties it in. So we've got lots of room for you to write in, in the middle and you could have add one of, um, added one of the sentiments as well. And then the front of our card 
you can see the layers and how beautiful that looks. So I just want to give you a reminder of the cup number. So the cup number is cup 9880831763 underscore one seven six three by Anne Lever. Please check www.craftshoeprint.com for lots of other designs by Anne. And I would just like to say thank you so much for watching. I shall see you next episode.